watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Well, welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. It's the moment the Upstate's been waiting for. The Peace Center is opening the curtain on its new Broadway season as new national tours are making their way to Greenville for the first time. And joining us now from the Peace Center is Layla. Thank you so much for stopping in. Thanks for having me, Haley. Oh, I am so excited to talk about this season. This is such an incredible lineup of shows. It is. Can you kind of give us the overview? Absolutely. The season starts in September with a roar. We have a three week run of Disney's The Lion King, and then we launch right into nine more incredible titles, including the revolutionary return of Hamilton. Yes. Incredible. The 2023 Tony Award winner for Best Musical, Kimberly Akimbo. Mm -hmm. We have these cinematic classics that are coming, Moulin Rouge the Musical, Back to the Future the Musical, and so many more. Yeah, we are very, very lucky here in Greenville to get to have these shows. Can you give us maybe a little behind the scene glimpse of what it's like to put together a Broadway season? Absolutely. There is a lot of work that goes into it and a lot of planning and coordination. Um, and it starts very early. You know, we look at what's going out on tour. We take into consideration what's been to the Peace Center before. And we try to create a lineup that has broad appeal that makes sense with the tour's routing. Greenville is so conveniently located between right. Charlotte and Atlanta. And we have really demonstrated that Greenville loves Broadway, which has helped us get these major shows time and time again, like Disney's The Lion King and Hamilton, as well as get these newer shows earlier on in their tours. Eight of the shows are new to the Peace Center and new for most of them to tour. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're really fortunate for that. You don't want to miss a minute of it. Subscribe today. Oh, absolutely. We have to briefly talk about Back to the Future because I saw this one last summer on Broadway and it blew my mind. I could not believe it was a live production. So can you maybe tell us a little about the special effects the audiences are in for? Yeah. So. Back to the Future the Musical has been described as an extraordinary theatrical wizardry moment. Um, all I can say is that there is a DeLorean and that the special effects team that's responsible for creating everything on Broadway is the same team that's going to be bringing special effects on tour. Um, so audiences will just have to be in the hall and see the show for themselves, but it's truly going to be magical. Yeah, we're going to have to go back in time for that one. And I promise you don't even need to be a fan of the movie to appreciate that yeah. show. If you are a fan of the movie, it will just be even more special. Absolutely. But as you were mentioning, a lot of these shows are either still on Broadway or they were just on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So how special is it to be able to bring such a high caliber of productions to the upstate? It's incredibly special. I think over the years, Greenville has really shown and our Peace Broadway subscriber community has really shown how important Broadway is to our cultural fabric in the community. And we feel incredibly fortunate that these tours are excited to be in our community yeah. and that they are really considering us, as I said earlier on in their touring, um, eight of the new shows are going out on the road for the first time um, this year. And to be part of that first year is just really special. You're talking about how the actors love to come to Greenville, and it's yes. so true. I tend to follow a lot on social media, mm -hmm. and they'll be asked, like, hey, what was your favorite tour stop? And time and time again, it is Greenville, South Carolina. I think we're just such a hidden gem that people love to discover when they get the chance. Absolutely. Touring companies and casts, as well as our patrons that come in from out of town. You know, we have a strong cohort of subscribers who come in from Asheville and surrounding areas, and we always hear that it the stage is obviously so integral to their experience, but it goes beyond the stage. It's about being in Greenville and enjoying our restaurants, yeah. staying in our hotels, and all of the amenities that the city has to offer. Well, you mentioned it earlier, Layla, but the best way to get tickets is to become a season subscriber. Tell me more. Yes. Um, so. Definitely encourage everyone to subscribe. Um, we have seen in the past couple of years a number of sellouts happen, and I hate FOMO. I don't know about <laughs> anybody else, but for, it's not for me. Um, so the best way to avoid it is to become a Peace Broadway subscriber. You can do that right now yes. online at peacecenter.org by phone at 864-467-3000 or visit us in person at the box office. Awesome. We will all have to get on that because I promise you don't want to miss the season. I'm going to keep saying that because yes. I was just... My mind was blown reading all the shows coming It's so here. true. <laughs> it's so true. Well, thank you so much for stopping in. As a reminder, the Peace Center's Broadway season officially kicks off September 11th with The Lion King. Other shows include Hamilton, Back to the Future, mm -hmm. the musical Some Like It Hot, and Juliet. 
and so much more. So for a full list of that season and more information, you can head to our website at foxcarolina.com. And now.